The main issues around resources, as, as most people have gathered, are that they're getting increasingly hard to extract uh, in good quality. It's costing more to, to extract resources. The current troubles in the fracking industry and the oil sector are that uh, the price of oil is volatile and is currently low and is well below the cost of extracting this sort of oil. So it's not that the resources aren't there, it's just that the cost, the, either the energy cost or the financial cost of extracting them is becoming very difficult to, to, to live with. Food prices, uh, commodity prices are fluctuating a great deal but are at significantly higher levels than they were in the period up to about 2002. So this squeezes spending in the economy. I might just add that the debt overhang, the amount of indebtedness in the world also squeezes people's spending power. So that you've got resource questions uh, both right through from the, the customer right through to the supplier which makes it more problematical to deliver uh, cheap materials, cheap energy and uh, cheap credit actually. If you, if you don't have all those three running it's very hard to run a linear economy because the linear economy depends on cheap energy, cheap materials and cheap credit to get the throughput. So all of those are up, up for question. Most uh, indicators are that these the, the biodiversity is in decline all over the place. The, um, the ecological services that are provided by uh, the, the, if you like, the living world or the natural world, everybody's known these are crucial to the survival of both the social and economic systems. But they're not costed in at the moment in, in, in either our understanding of them or, or in fact in the prices that we apply to resources which are, which are extracted from the natural world or from the services which um, the living systems provide. We just don't, we don't factor them in at the moment. And we need an economic system that does, in a systems way, factor these sorts of things in. September 2008 uh, taught us many things and uh, one of the most important was that a financial system which is unstable uh, accelerates boom and bust in the economy. So although it came after a period of relative moderation and calm, the, the, the level of um, destruction of assets and, and wealth in that period was almost unprecedented since the 1930s. So this really rocked the economy on its heels and it required more intervention in terms of stimulus than, than for example, America has spent on all, all its previous adventures abroad in the last 50 years. So that, that's really remarkable. The financial system almost crashed the entire economy. Thank you.